shed. What I've been doing, um, I've been repurposing some tools. I watched a um, video from uh, Mike Pace on shop made tools where Mike actually went and bought some bar stock and he, he made some um, shop made tools. Well, I didn't have any bar stock, but what I did have was a couple of gouges that I'd worn down. The only ones I've ever worn down, to be honest with you. And these uh, are probably they're my favourite size, a little 3 8 And that, I use them all the time, so that's probably why they've worn down. One was a ball gouge, one was a spindle gouge. Now, when it was a spindle gouge, it actually went into the handle four inches. So I just gripped it in the vise, knocked the handle off, it came off quite easy. And what I'd done is I shoved a one inch length of 3 8 dowel inside and just held it with a bit of CA. So it gave me an extra inch on this end. And I've made this into a, a round, uh, this is a wedge tool or a cove tool. And this one is a, a little round 3 8 um, skew chisel. I'll just show you quickly what I've done and I put a piece of scrap wood between centers. It's just a piece of pallet wood um, which I cut into four in one of these blocks that you get off the end of a pallet. I, I simply just cut it into four and put it in between centers, turned it round just to try these tools out. It's, it's not the best wood and I wasn't making anything. All I was doing was simply messing about just to see what I think. Have a look, it may give you some ideas of uh, reusing some of the uh, the old tools um, and giving them a new life because the steel in them is good steel and uh, it, it's certainly not worth throwing it out. As you all know, I like a little bit of salvage. So, here they are now with the epoxy dry, the uh, two tools, the cove tool and the detail skew. So if I can just get them closer for you. So the next thing for me to do is to um, go back to the sharpening station, put the final edge on them and uh, take them over to the lathe and just uh, see how they work out. So I'll see you over at the lathe.
Well, the skew chisel, well, they both do what they're supposed to do. This is supposed to be a cove tool, and um, it does actually make the coves, and it makes them quite well. Whoops. So, as I said, I've just been messing about here now, just having a look at these two, um, these two tools, and uh, yeah, they, I mean, they're, they're a tool that I would say, uh, an occasional use, I probably would use the skew an awful lot more than the uh, cove tool, yeah, I quite like the skew, um, it seems to be, for a small edited tool, it seems to be quite forgiven. But um, you can do basically what you want to do. Just a piece of scrap wood, this, it's, it's, it's not good wood or nothing, but um, whatever you wanted to make. Uh, if you're into doing finials and things, it would never replace a three quarter skew to me. But yeah, it's a tool. It's a handy little tool, it's one of the occasional tools that you have in your box and it comes out now and again and when you use it, it does a good job. So that's about it, just a quick little video just to show you the two tools. Hope it helps someone, so that's about it from me for now. Uh, thanks to everyone for watching, thanks to all my subscribers and don't forget, work safe. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.